Are you looking for a good keto chicken spaghetti? Well, I've got the recipe for you. Okay, this is a real easy recipe. need to do ahead of time is the noodles and you can do them a week two weeks a month ahead of time but we're just throwing this together this is a good way to use up leftover turkey after Thanksgiving start off with I've got about two to three tablespoons of butter that I'm heating up and we're going to add one half of a chopped onion and we're also going to do a half a cup each of celery and bell pepper now I had these already cut up and put in the freezer I love to have celery and bell pepper and onion too chopped and ready to go so we're just going to cook these real good I've already got my noodles cooked and drained, so they will be ready to go. And so just a quick note, these are the noodles that I made a few episodes back and they dry real well. So I this is from one batch and this is four servings. One batch equals four servings. So just letting you know that they do dry really well and you can put them in the shelf just like that in a Ziploc bag until you get ready to use them I've had them in here for at least a month okay while this is cooking we're gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of minced garlic I love garlic in my dishes so we use a lot and again it was already minced in the freezer ready to go So we want to cook this down more until everything is looking nice and soft and glassy. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, my onions and bell peppers and celery is all starting to look cooked and glassy. And I want to add some salt and pepper to taste. Let's do a little bit here. Don't want to add a lot because we're going to add beef bouillon to this. Okay, give that a stir. Now, chicken spaghetti usually has my recipes anyway have always had uh, cream of soup, chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup and Velveeta cheese. But we're going to circumvent that putting in a half a thing of cream cheese about four ounces oh. we're also going to add one beef bouillon and I like to crumble it up mix it in this will give it that extra chicken flavor that we would have had with the cream of mushroom soup, I mean cream of chicken soup. We want to cook that. Turn down the burner. Soften this up. Now I'm also going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. And 
Okay, I'm also going to add two cups of shredded cheese. This is a triple cheddar cheese. that all together. Okay, to this we are now going to add a can of drained Rotel tomatoes. Stir that in. our chicken. This is leftover chicken that I had from the other day. And our noodles. Now at this point you can actually put this in the oven with uh, some extra cheese on top and bake it. We don't have our oven hooked up yet so stove top it is. Now I'm going to put this on, put my lid on, let it cook, get the heat through. I'll be right back with you. And here you go, folks. Keto chicken spaghetti. Really good for leftover turkey after Thanksgiving. Easy to throw together. I hope you enjoy. Bye.